Welcome to the Easter Vigil, the service from the night of Holy Saturday uh, to Easter Day. Easter is the one celebration of the church's year, of the Christian year, that it can actually claim to go back to the time of the Apostles. Its first celebration would have been in the night of Holy Saturday, Easter Day, and it would probably have consisted of the blessing of lights uh, after a similar Jewish ceremony, a solemn reading from the Bible of the story of our salvation, followed by the baptisms, and then at dawn, uh, the celebration of the Eucharist. In course of time, during the fourth century, special emphasis was placed on a particular candle, the Easter candle or the Paschal candle and also on the striking of a new fire and the singing of praises to God in the light of the fire, of the light of the candle, the exultet. Now this service tonight begins with the blessing of a rather improvised Easter fire, because of course we're indoors, followed by the singing of the exultet, followed by some Bible readings, and the renewal of baptismal vows. And then I'll leave the celebration of the Eucharist, which we will uh, would normally have at the end of the service, I'll leave that until tomorrow morning at 9.30. Brothers and sisters in Christ, on this most holy night, in which our Lord Jesus Christ passed over from death to life, the Church invites her members, dispersed throughout the world, to gather in vigil and prayer. For this is the Passover of the Lord, in which through word and sacrament we share in his victory over death. Let us pray. Father, we share in the light of your glory, through your Son, the light of the world. Make this new fire holy and inflame us with new hope. Purify our minds by the Easter celebration and bring us one day to the feast of eternal light. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now the blessing of the Easter candle. Christ yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, Alpha and Omega, all time belongs to him, and all the ages, to him be glory and power for every age and forever. Amen. By his holy and glorious wounds, may Christ our Lord Guard us and keep us. Amen. May the light of Christ, rising in glory, banish all darkness from our hearts and minds. Rejoice, 
heavenly powers sing choirs of angels, exalt all creation around God's throne. Sound the trumpet of salvation, Jesus Christ, our King, is risen. Rejoice, O world, in shining splendor. Be radiant in the brightness of your King. Christ has conquered, glory fills you. Darkness vanishes forever. Rejoice, O Mother Church, exult in glory. The risen Saviour shines upon you. Let this place resound with joy, echoing the mighty song of all God's people. My dearest friends, standing with me in this holy light, join me in asking God for mercy that he may give his unworthy minister the grace to sing his Easter praises. We pray to your Father, through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It is truly right that with full hearts and minds and voices we should praise the unseen God, our all-powerful Father, and his only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For Christ has ransomed us with his blood and paid for us the price of Adam's sin to our eternal Father. This is our Passover feast when Christ the true Lamb is slain whose blood consecrates the homes of all believers. This is the night when first you saved our fathers, you freed the people of Israel from their slavery and let them dry shot through the sea. This is the night when the pillar of fire destroyed the darkness of sin. This is the night when Christians everywhere washed clean of sin and freed from all defilement, are restored to grace and grow together in holiness. This is 
is the light. When Jesus Christ broke the chains of death and rose triumphant from the grave. What good would life have been for us had Christ not come as our Redeemer? Father, how wonderful your care for us, how boundless your merciful love, to ransom a slave you gave away your, your son. Oh, oh happy fault, O oh, necessary sin of Adam, which gained for us so great a Redeemer. Most blessed of all nights chosen by God to see Christ rising from the dead. Of this night, Scripture says, this night will be as clear as day. It will become my light and my joy. The power of this holy night dispels all evil, washes guilt away, restores lost in no sin. Brings mourners joy, it casts out hatred, brings us peace and humbles earthly pride. Night, truly blessed, when heaven is wedded to earth. And man is reconciled with God. Therefore, Heavenly Father, in the joy of this night, receive our evening sacrifice of praise, your church's solemn offering. Accept this Easter candle, a flame divided but undimmed, a pillar of fire that glows to the honour of God. Let it mingle with lights of heaven, and continue bravely burning to dispel the darkness of this night. May the morning star, which never sets, find this flame still burning. Christ, that morning star, who came back from the dead and shed his peaceful light on all mankind. Your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, we have begun our solemn vigil. Let us now listen attentively to the word of God, 
recalling how he saved his people through history and in the fullness of time sends his own son to be our redeemer through this easter celebration may god bring to perfection the saving work he has begun in us a reading from the book of genesis in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of god was moving over the face of the waters and god said let there be light and there was light and god saw that the light was good and god separated the light from the darkness god called the light day and the darkness he called night and there was evening and there was morning one day then god said let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth so god created man in his own image in the image of god he created him male and female he created them and god blessed them and god said to them be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth and god said behold i have given you every plant yielding seed which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree with seed in its fruit you shall have them for food and to every beast of the earth and to every bird of the air and to everything that creeps on the earth everything that has the breath of life i have given every green plant for food and it was so and god saw everything that he had made and behold it was very good and there was evening and there was morning a sixth day this is the word of the lord thanks be to god let us pray almighty god who wonderfully created us in your own image and yet more wonderfully restored us through your son jesus christ grants that as he came to share in our humanity so we may share the life of his divinity who is alive and reigns with you and the holy spirit one god now and forever amen a reading from the book of exodus the lord said to moses why do you cry to me tell the people of israel to go forward Lift up your rod and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it, that the people of Israel may go on dry ground through the sea. And I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians so that they shall go in after them. And I will get glory over Pharaoh and all his host, his chariots and his horsemen. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I have gotten glory over Pharaoh, his chariots and his horsemen. Then the angel of God, who went before the hosts of Israel, moved and went behind them. And the pillar of cloud moved from before them and stood behind them, coming between the host of Egypt and the host of Israel. And there was the cloud and the darkness, and the night passed, without one coming near the other all night. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord drove the sea back by a strong east wind all night, and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided, and the people of Israel went into the midst of the sea on dry ground, the waters being a wall to them on their right hand 
among their land. The Egyptians pursued and went in after them into the midst of the sea, all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots and his horsemen. And in the morning watched the Lord in the pillar of fire and of cloud, looked down upon the host of the Egyptians, and discomfited the host of the Egyptians, clogging their chariot wheels, so that they drove heavily.